Hey guys, so today we're going to be playing an indie game called Brigand Oaxaca. I think that's how you say it. I had to look up how to say both those words because I didn't know for sure. But um, this game was sent to me for free from the developer, which was super nice. And um, he didn't even ask me to make a video. He said he would appreciate it, but um, that if... I didn't want to, I didn't have to, but I felt like it was so nice of him to reach out, so I wanted to make a video on it anyway. And he also gave me five Steam keys of this game and the DLC to share with you guys, so I'm going to be doing a little giveaway within this video. Um, all of the information that you'll need will be in the description, um, but basically just make sure you're subscribed to this channel and comment something on this video as long as it follows the youtube guidelines so that it doesn't get deleted um just comment something leave um either a twitter handle or an instagram handle in your comment so that i can private message you on one of those platforms because the youtube private messaging system sucks ass so <laughs> so we'll have to use a different one um but anyway I'm gonna play this and I probably won't do like a full let's play of it but I just wanted to get in here and test it out a little bit and then I'll also do another video on the DLC so if there's less than five comments on this video <laughs> which is very possible then um, I will give the remaining keys out on a different video where I do the DLC um, but this giveaway is going to go for a week uh, for when this video is posted. So, and if there are more than five comments, then I will put them in a randomizer and the winners will be randomly picked. So anyway, just thought that that would be a fun little thing to do. Huge thank you to the developer, Brian Lancaster, for providing this to me and for providing Steam keys for you guys as well. So anyway, <laughs> I'm really nervous because it said on the Steam page, which I'll have linked down below as well if, if you're interested in checking it out, um, that this game focuses on difficulty and challenging gameplay, and I am not a good gamer, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Okay, I guess we'll go with that one. I'm really nervous. Even the music makes me anxious. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be really difficult, which is why I'm not doing a full let's play on it because I probably won't be able to get past like the first level. <laughs> oh God, I'm nervous. Um, Tessa, I don't know if I'm gonna have a choice between, well, <laughs> I don't have a choice of a female character. So it's a little weird that his name is going to be Tessa, but that's fine. Although, you know, you should put in female characters just saying Mr. Lancaster. Just <laughs> throwing that out there. Um, choose a class gunslinger. Huh. Um, I kind of want to be a witch doctor. You spent your childhood in a remote tribe learning much from the head shaman, but it soon became evident that your studies in voodoo could not continue if you stayed in your village. You've decided to search the world for tomes of the Iu Iowa. <laughs> if only I could read properly. Um, gunslinger. I'm just going to go through all of them just to see. You're fortunate enough to acquire a pistol at a young age, and you have since made your living winning shooting contests and duels. Having been nicked a few times, you know how to patch up a wound with a rag. Interesting. You grew up in the slave pits, fighting for your life and freedom with axes and sledgehammers. Nobody can defeat you in melee combat. You can throw your melee weapons, and you can make someone piss his pants with a simple stare. Nice. I don't like melee, though, in games, typically. Not as much. I like to stay at a distance. <laughs> the noise of large cities has always given you a headache. You are at home on the open road and your survival skills let you sustain yourself far from civilization. Constantly on the move, your legs are strong and you can run fast while avoiding detection. I don't know how to say this word. Vagabond? I think that's how, I don't, 
actually no business is your business and war is good for business money has a way of finding you you have natural charisma and acquiring your extensive (laughs) fuck database of contacts has taught you a little about how to hack computers interesting um fuck capitalism though so not gonna go with that one (laughs) um broken shit makes you happy and you have always been fascinated by chemistry and mechanics you can fix damaged guns and craft grenades out of tin cans and chemicals what other people call garbage you call an opportunity that was pretty cool i kind of still want to go with the witch doctor though just because like i don't know bandage press v to use it okay i'm not gonna be good at this because i'm not good at mm. <laughs> not good at games but you know i rename my character eh, we're just gonna go with it fuck gender norms i'm gonna go wimpy because <laughs> in wimpy mode sleeping in a bed will completely restore your health and you do not have to eat food to survive well i like ugh. This is like in Minecraft. I like eating food to survive. I like that mechanic, but I don't want the combat to be difficult. (laughs) Normal mode, sleeping in a bed overly restores you back to 20 health. The rest you must restore using food or medicine, but food is not essential to survival. Oh, well, I'm just going to go wimpy anyway because I'm a fucking wimp and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with wanting to play on easy mode. You should have seen this coming. Framed for murder, a psychotic bandit blitzed on juices and killed during sexual intercourse by bullets sprayed through a wooden door. The woman wasn't so lucky either, and you were the only one around looking stupid. Sounds about right. I am always looking stupid. At least you were safe here in this comfortable cell in southern Oaxaca, Mexico. Safe from the upcoming war between Uncle Bob's national security and a... 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 Aluja, Aluga tribe, who they say washed up on the shores of Mexico after their homelands were submerged in the rising ocean. It has been over a century now since the nukes fell, vaporizing entire cities in the blink of an eye. Mexico City is gone, ground zero. UBNS is once again on the verge of war, but at least you were safe in this cell, absolved of all sin in the enemy's eyes until now. Ah, uh, that scared me. <laughs> it got too close to his face. I didn't like it. OZ. The man in the cell next to yours stares at you through calm eyes. <laughs> he steps over to the bars to see if you're awake. Um, Indifferent? You have arrived at Ricardo's plantation. Oh, okay. My new neighbor, how are you? The accent... Well, I don't know what accent to do, and I'm not going to even try, because I don't want to be offensive. Uh, the accent of the illusion private from somewhere across the irradiated sea. Um, I'm going to go with where am I? You on death row, mon out. Is it supposed to be like a Jamaican accent? I'm, again, not going to try. I feel like my voice doesn't really fit with this dude. <laughs> I don't know if I can do a proper voice. See. Uncle Bob's national... <laughs> Fuck. That's really bad. Uncle Bob's national security. Don't think we safe for the local community. Yes, this is my bad guy voice. Don't worry about it. Perhaps they write too. It true. You kill a lady. I was framed for murder, you bitch. Ha. We all been framed. Framed or no. Uncle Bob's still gonna hang us up for everyone to see. Uh, help the workers in line. Mom. Fuck. I'm not good at doing accents. And I'm I'm not even trying to do an accent. I'm just trying to do it a manly voice. And as you can tell, <laughs> I have a very, very girly voice. So it's very difficult for me. But you know what? We try. Hi, dude. Ah! Um. Um. Is it possible to escape? Sure, man. You just gotta look for the small little green man with the smelly beard. He get you out of here. Um, okay. <laughs> OZ continues laughing for a while, then gradually goes quiet. Alright. I don't like the sounds. They're scary. Dried meat. Oh, I have to go closer to it. Ew. 
This meat has been cooked and dried to kill disease and add nutrition, but it tastes like leather. Okay. Um, carry up to 10 items. Yep. Got it. Useful for eating off of or throwing at people if you have no food. Cool. You can rest and save your game here. Resting fully restores health. Meta has been restored automatically. How did you really end up here? I was a spy checking for the plantation for weaknesses. I don't know how, but one of Uncle Bob's boys found me out. <laughs> Locked me up in here to wait for sweet death. It don't matter nothing to me. Get nothing to lose. That's the deepest voice I can do. <laughs> What are you so sunny about? My tribe is coming. These those scum don't even know don't even need to torture me because I gladly tell them all I know. First the plantation will fall to the old good tribe, then junk for it. <laughs> Just wait and see, Mon. He grins introspectively. Um Oh, interesting. You can actually okay. Well, see you later, uh, OZ. I think I said his name like five different ways. You need a certain key. I'll just. Well, how do I get out then? I'm gonna try resting till sunrise. I don't know if it makes any difference. Ah! Oh my god. Every time it zooms in on his face, I get scared. Rise and shine, lady killer. I think you got a visitor at your window, man. Try talking for a change instead of killing her. Okay, cool. Hello, lady. Oh, you're funky. You look like someone out of cyberpunk. Your cell is bigger than my sleeping quarters, Tessa. Where's the rent? Um, who are you? My name is Carmen. I'm with UBNS for now, but it's a temp gig. My full-time employer is ITIC. Heard of us? Um, sounds familiar? Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. She smiles and her eyes almost twinkle through her visor. I know that. All the important ones know. I don't know what you know. Sorry. And the rest will be suitably intimidated by the rumors surrounding you. Sometimes the greater good calls for underhanded measures. I'm sure you understand. Strange things are afoot. All you need to know is that I, I, I see is helping Uncle Bob establish a foothold here so you, so we can keep watch and we need a nobody like you to help us. Your records show that you're up to the task. You framed me? That wasn't my idea. The orders came from high up and I'm just the messenger. Chummer. Is that what she's- Chummer? <laughs> Not to mention the girl who's gonna save your ass. Uh-huh. Here's some jink. Okay. And the key to your cell door. We have a pardon for you if you decide to help us. If not, I can't guarantee that you'll live through next week. Resting time's over, Tessa. Ricardo's waiting outside your cell. Okay. Okay. Can I talk to her again? I missed... Oh, no. Okay. Well, I guess you'll just have to pause the video to see what she said. <laughs> ah, hello, Ricardo. Welcome back to the great outdoors, mijo. You owe quite the favor for that pardon. What is it you want, Rick? Very simple, my precious brew tanks sit outside the walls, vulnerable, of the b -b -b vulnerable to attack. <laughs> I've seen algun scum in the hills. Maybe I should look up how to say that word because I don't even fucking know. Just kidding, I guess it's a fake word, so I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Just gonna <laughs> keep it rolling by. Um, looking at them in the dead of night. Zack is the leader of the Alagons here, and I believe he plans to destroy my brewery tonight with his gang of thugs. This will devastate morale. After you have a weapon and the sun goes down, mijo, watch the brewery. Blast any Alagon thug. I'm just going to say it like that. It's probably not at all right. You see gathering near her. We must prove our mettle to the other tribes. Uh, follow me to Mountain Thunder's shop and I'll give you some jink. What the fuck is jank to buy a gun, but be back here to guard my brew tanks after nightfall. Okay. Ricardo was worried that thugs from a league with tribe are plotting to destroy his brewery after nightfall. 
buy a weapon and be back by sunset to guard the three bro tanks outside the plantation walls. After the sun rises, report the news to Ricardo at the Rusty Nail Saloon. Okay, hold on. I found a word that's very similar, just has one less G in it. It means deity, I guess. I don't know what where it's from, but this says Alegoa is the right way to pronounce it, so I'm just going to start pronouncing it like that. Sorry for mispronouncing it. Where bananas grow. Okay. Oh. You seem to have just been forcefully promoted. Voodoo isn't trusted by these mercenaries, and while you were careful never to talk about it too much, word must have gotten out. Whatever the reason, somebody high up likes you, and now you have to fight. Or head for the hills and hope nobody tails your ass. Well, lovely. I don't know how to fight is the thing. Okay. You know, I like the story, and oh, she's a hooker. Oh. <laughs> okay. He's suspicious. Buy a, far, a firearm from Mountain Thunder's shop to your right, then come speak with me. I can teach you to use it free of charge. Mountain Thunder shop. Here's 20 jink mijo. Find or purchase a gun. Follow Ricardo to the shooting range and destroy all three targets from behind the iron beam. This will give you extra skill points and Ricardo has promised to replenish your ammo. This must be completed before the sun goes down. Okay, where is the... Where is... Um, should I? Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to or not. Um, well, they caught me, so... Hello. Mountain Thunder is the plantation supply dealer. His shop smells of must and body odor, and he looks disappointed when you enter. You work for Ricardo, huh? You want my advice? Just sit this conflict out, friend. You can slip away from here as soon as a, a Legua tribe retreats. Um. Okay, I need weapons. Um. Hmm, well... I don't really know anything about guns, so this is awful. I'm just gonna get that one. The semi-automatic high-powered pistol unloads powerful 44 caliber bullets, but it only holds six. All right, well, I guess that's what I'm getting. Sorry for stealing a med kit. I didn't know that it was um, bad to steal. <laughs> Can I talk to him? Um, is there any work around here? You still haven't reached your quota. No pay until you bring me three bananas. Okay. Mountain Thunder will give you this month's pay until you bring him another three bananas. Okay. So I guess I got to go look for bananas. Can I talk to the prostitute? <laughs> um. One client wanted me to spread pe- Oh, God. Ew. <laughs> Allegra Tribe is looming on Junk Fort. They occupy Pachula now. Uh, all these names I don't know how to pronounce and it won't be long before Mr. Mungo utilizes all of his forces against Junk Fort. I'd watch out for those juicers so they can crush you like a can. Thank you. What's my rep with the tribes? Scow mm -hmm. tribe <laughs> it is always dangerous. Just stay away from the ghouls that hang around in lonely areas. Okay, cool. Gotta go. Bye. Have fun doing you. Um, let me go talk to Ricardo. They call me a master of survival, mijo. I can teach you everything about it. Would you like to upgrade your skills or unlock a new ability? Um, I guess unlock ability. Um, well, there's so many. <laughs> you can appraise sentient creatures with a keen eye. This ability reveals all the statistical information about a target character. Uh, I'm just gonna escape for now. <laughs> Upgrade skills? I guess I'll upgrade my pistols. <laughs> I don't really know. I'll also upgrade like stealth maybe. No? Just kidding? Alright, we'll just do it all in pistols. I don't know much about these kinds of games. Like what skills are best? I don't know. Tell me about the tribes in the area. In these parts, I can mention three major tribes besides Uncle Bob's National Security Alegua tribe. Skawuin tribe and Baroque tribe. 
Tell me about Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob and I have business deal on the table. He protects my plantation while I provide his company with s- sustenance. <laughs> He's currently visiting a Oa- Fuck. Uh, how do you say it? I forgot how to say it. Oaxaca. <laughs> and stays at Junk Fort. You can find Junk Fort if you cross the bridge and turn left at Freeway 175. Uncle Bob's national security is always looking for new recruits, mijo. Um... Why does I don't drink alcohol? Really? Good luck with the malaria in the water, mijo. Here, we here drink banana beer to sustain ourselves. Oh, um, well, that's probably not good for your uh, hydration. Um, tell me about the Alegua tribe. Ricardo spits angrily on the ground. Alegua tribe is led by a faceless coward they call Mr. Mungo. They're from the sunken isles of the Caribbean Sea, and now they infringe upon our land. Granted, they all lost their homes in the to the ocean, but why can't they wait in line like everyone else, eh? Okay, well... Tell me about the Scowlin tribe. (laughs) I can't say that one. I'm so sorry. Scowlin tribe is not much of a threat. They are all victims of permanent gene mutation, and their range of movement is limited. Most people call them scav ghouls. I call them ugly. (laughs) There is gossip of a huge network of underground tunnels created by the ghouls of Skawin tribe known as the Topo Tracks. How to access them is beyond me, Miho. Um, tell me about the Baroque tribe. Nobody knows much about Baroque tribe other than that they are from some land far away across the sea and their technology surpasses ours in every way. Okay. <sighs> Oh, okay. Now he sees that I have the firearm. I don't know why it took so long. I see you found a firearm. Would you like some target practice? I will reimburse you for ammunition. Sure. Yes. I would love that. Where do I... What do I... Oh, okay. Following you, boss. Stand behind the iron beam and destroy those three targets with your firearm. Take your aim and... Take your time and aim carefully or you'll waste ammunition. You'll waste precious ammunition is what it said. Um. Oh. Okay. Target shitty. Ah. Does that mean my shot is shitty? Oh, no, it's shitty because I shot it. (laughs) Got it. Can I just go right up here? Just kidding. Um, I don't know what, where he told me to stand. I think he told me somewhere, but I don't really know. Okay. Decent shooting, mijo. You may stand a chance against the Alego and mosquitoes after all. I can't say that word still. Uh, pick your prize. Magnum ra- mm. I don't- I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna say a 10 millimeter clip. Because uh, maybe that means I have more bullets. I, I don't actually know. There's a dog. Is it gonna hurt me? Hi dog. Fluffy. This is Ricardo's hound Fluffy. Maybe you can ask Ricardo about it. Well, I don't want to kick it. Fluffy growls at you. Okay, well, I'll just leave you alone, Fluffy. Um, My dog Fluffy is too expensive. I can hardly feed her, mijo. You have to be pretty charming to earn her trust, but if you can, then she is yours. Oh, okay, so I can get the dog. Cool, cool. Well, um, I don't know how to do that, but... Hello? Laughing Coyote has been here since childhood, they say, but he never laughs. Uh, what do you do here? I've been scouting the hills to the south, and I have reason to believe Alegua tribe is about to launch an invasion against the plantation. Um, can you help train me? Do you have to upgrade it in something that they have knowledge in? Is that why I couldn't upgrade stealth? Yeah, I think it is, because I can't upgrade it still. So that makes sense. That's cool. Um, I might upgrade my strength and maybe survival? I don't know. Okay. I heard you were pardoned, Tessa, just in time for the action. Uh, I'm looking for your help. 
Ricardo needs my protection for now. I owe him much for his financial wisdom. He founded this plantation, and he funds the mercenaries who protect us. I may join you later if Ricardo thinks it's best. While you're waiting for the sun to set, Tessa, I am sure the barkeep and the restless foreigner in the corner could use your help. Okay. Thanks. Um, laughing coyote. I'll see. Whatever. Jimmy the barkeep. Jimmy looks a little funny. <laughs> I don't know why, but he just, uh, looks like not the smartest fellow. Ah, fuck. This bullet wound is killing me. You got a med kit or a rag you can use to patch me? Yeah, I stole one. <laughs> Did you want it? Uh, B? Okay. If you know what you're doing, you can bandage me up with a rag. You can usually find rags in your trash bags, but if you don't have the ability, you'll need a med kit to heal me. Jimmy the barkeep at the Rusty Nail Saloon is apparently having severe pains from an old bullet wound. He wants you to heal him either using a med kit or the bandage ability. Just be close enough, target him, and use the med kit or the bandage ability on him. He will give you jink in return. You can heal other people with med kits or the bandage ability. Target the person you want to heal and be close enough, then use the med kit or ability. Okay, well, I have a med kit, but I don't know if I should use it. I'll just use it. I don't, I don't know. Um, you must have a rag to bandage someone, but I had a med kit. Oh God, I can't pronounce that name either. Um, I'll just call him G. I don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> Arrived a few years back from the sunken city of Shanghai, his constant pacing a sign of agitation. Do not get in the way of my thoughts, he says. What happened to your eye? I lost my eye to pirates on my journey here. I know I mean your cybernetic eye. Bah, ghouls took my replacement, ugly monsters with horrible smell. I tried to play friendly game of dice, and they robbed me of my cybernetic eye that I just bought from Baroque Tech Industries in Pachuba. <laughs> Ah. Gal lost his eyeball in a game of dice. It wasn't stolen. Oh my god. Why am I running back and forth? <laughs> Ghouls cheat in Shizy. Use special dice. Always roll one. You can find them hiding near freeway behind old yellow bus. Get my eye back and I give you my service. Okay. You met a man from Shanghai at the Rusty Nail Saloon. He claims that ghosts from Scowl and Tribe robbed him of his bionic eyeball and escaped to the north up freeway 175. If you retrieve... Gao's eye. He may join your team. Okay. How do I use the med kit? I'm so confused. Um. Oh, there we go. I just had to click on him. I'm such an idiot. There we go. I did it. Thanks, brother. I feel a million times better. Here's your drink. Hey, come talk to me again if you want some more work, eh? All right. Thank you. Um. a book now read it you lazy bastard <laughs> thanks there is a 40 jink bounty on the head of zach violent criminal zach tax evader and suspected recruiter for the Allegoa tribe zach is an expert with pistols and will most likely have bodyguards around him at all times red point to junk fort for details twilight okay i'm gonna go back in myself for a minute so i can uh save can I pick up this axe? Awesome. I like this music. Yeah, none of them like me, so... I got a rack. Cool. So that's good, I guess. Oh, hello. What services are nearby? There's two bars nearby. The Rusty Nail Saloon is in the northeast, Ricardo's Plantation. You can also go to Junk Fort across the freeway, visit the lounge area for some food and beers. What haven't you evacuated yet? Oh, why haven't you? <laughs> and go where? Ground zero and die of radiation. The jungles to the south get torn apart by demons. No thanks. I'm going to stay here and see what happens. I don't have enough for a banana, so I'm sorry. I ha Oh, there's a banana. Okay, well I got a banana, so that's good. Um, 
Nightfall. This game is actually, like, I'm having a good time. <laughs> I'm actually having a really good time right now, which I wasn't necessarily expecting because it said stuff about it being really hard, which I'm sure it does get hard later, but right now I'm just kind of exploring and talking to people, and I like doing that in games, not in real life, because I have social anxiety. So, um, okay, cool. Well, let's go check it out, see what's going on at the saloon, maybe. It says I'm supposed to protect the saloon. Or not the saloon, sorry, the plantation. But I don't really know what that entails. Ah! Oh! Um, 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 there's things happening. Um, where are they happening? The brewery? Where? Ah! How do I get through here? Um. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Um, this is a problem. Okay, um, well, uh, how do I reload? <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> oops, I fucked up. I didn't realize that things were happening. Okay, um, okay, great. Um, I'm dead. Oops. Fuck. Is that it? What the hell? <gasps> oh my god. It just ended? <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> I guess that's that. I don't know how to... Oh, I can restore. Okay. But you know what? I feel like that's a good enough spot to leave it for this episode. I actually might do another episode on this. Um, continuing this story and not just doing the DLC. Because I actually had a really fun time playing. <laughs> and I would like to actually play the combat in the right way. I didn't realize that they were attacking right then and there. <laughs> didn't realize quite what was happening. So, um, yeah. I will play this again sometime soon. This was really fun. Um, if you want to enter the giveaway for a game code for this plus the DLC, um, then just comment down below. Again, all of the rules and everything are in the description. Make sure you check that out. Um, I will also have a link to the Steam page for this game if you want to check out any of the information on it or if you want to buy it for yourself. Um, it was really fun. I was actually like pleasantly surprised. I wasn't expecting it to be... Like, I was expecting to have, like, a decent time, but I wasn't expecting it to be as fun as it was. I actually really enjoyed the dialogue. I enjoyed, um, looking around for things, and, um, I did really bad, but <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. Um, and I'll be playing again so that I can do more of the combat part of it, because that, obviously, I did not do. <laughs> but anyway, I highly recommend checking out this game huge thank you to brian lancaster for providing me with the steam key for not only myself but for five of you um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm really excited to play more of this game so i will see you all in my next video bye guys